Hey everyone, welcome to another lesson in this Tosca automation course. Today we are going to look at how Tosca provides us with different combination methods which can be triggered automatically. So till now we have been looking at how we can manually create our combinations in the test case design sheet but Tosca also provides us with different automated methods through which it can provide different number of combinations and types of combinations. So let's see uh, what are these different methods. So there are basically four types of uh, methods through which Tosca combines the data which you have created in your test case design sheet. You don't need to manually create the combinations. Okay, um, so going through all the different methods to combine the data, uh, the first method is all combinations. As the name suggests, it creates all the possible instance combinations which are considered for testing. And what this does is results in the highest number of test cases. Okay, so whatever uh, instances you have created, it will create the combinations out of all those instances. So you can see the probability would be much higher, right? So it will cover each and every scenario. Uh, orthogonal, so just the type of combination where each instance value will be used just once for each combination. So this results in a very low number of combinations, right? The next is pairwise. Uh, it combines each pair of possible value combinations for two attributes, okay? So this will also not result in a higher number of test cases. And then the linear expansion. It defines a straight through or happy path combination, okay? And it should always contain the highest risk test cases. And this method is actually recommended by Triacentis because it provides you uh, with the right amount of test cases, not very high, not very low, okay? And this is also the most uh, highest risk test cases which would be beneficial for your project or uh, for your automation, okay? So these are all the four combinations. Now it depends on you, on your project, uh, what kind of requirement there is. If you want to test all the combinations, you can go with all combinations. If you just want to have just one instance for uh, one combination, then you can go for orthogonal. You can go for pairwise if you want to do two possible, uh, I mean, a pair of each possible value combination for two attributes. Or you can go for linear expansion, which is also recommended by Triacentis. Okay, so let's see this in action in our Tosca. Okay, now I'm in my Tosca instance where we are at the test case design sheet. Earlier we had designed this regression test sheet. Now just to remind you, if you have not seen this, how we have designed this regression test sheet, then please go to my earlier videos where I've shown you how you can create attributes, instances, and um, how you can assign instances to different attributes, right? So this is our test sheet and as you can see, uh, we have created some instances and we have also assigned them here. So which is basically creating different combinations of the data for that particular attribute, right? Now what I have done is I've also added few more instances to all the different attributes, right? To just show you how uh, Tosca can create different combinations out of these attributes and instances of data. Right, so I have added a few product names, some prices, right? So I have just increased some instances for all the different attributes. Now, as you can see, there are just three test cases right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. We're going to create some more uh, test sheets out of this, right? Um, so let me just delete this. Let's copy this and I'm going to paste it here. Again, I'm going to paste it here and here and here. Okay, so I've got four different test sheets. Uh, I've just copied the original one because I want to show you four different combinations, um, the combinational methods which Tosca provides, okay? So let's go to this first test sheet. Now, how can we use uh, the different combination methods, right? So there are different ways of doing that. Either right click on the test sheet and you can go to generate instances, right? You will see all the different 
um, combination methods which we have discussed out of that uh, we are going to use the all combinations here right so uh, if I select this all combinations now Tosca is going to generate combinations out of all the different instances which I have uh, created for all the different attributes so there is a lot of permutation and combinations which will go on right so it's just mathematics so what it will do it will create all the different instances and you will see uh, the number of instances grows right um, and the number of test cases are now previously there were only three test cases and now there are as you can see it has got almost 972 uh, test cases right so it is it is a very high number of test cases but if you really want to test all the combinations of data this is the actual uh, number of test cases which you have to test right so it's um, actually not recommended unless you have a lot of time uh, to test all your test cases right because this is going to test um, everything right um, now uh, you can fill this data uh, there are also different ways of doing that right but this is going to create all the combinations so the number of test cases for all your test data okay similarly if we go to test sheet 2 right now there are three test cases but now um, I want to use a different different type of combination okay so I'm going to use the orthogonal and as you can see in orthogonal we have uh, just got three more instances right so we already had three and uh, Tosca has added three more right so that's Tosca is telling us that uh, there could be six test cases which could be created out of uh, the different instances and uh, the attributes okay now coming to third type of combination so the third type of combination is pairwise and if I create pairwise um, you will see it has created little more test cases than orthogonal so there are 16 combinations which are possible so there should be 16 test cases okay and coming to the last combination method which is the linear expansion also it is recommended by Tyson test okay um, so one thing um, which I forgot to mention earlier is for linear expansion to work you have to have a straight through instance uh, defined for your attributes okay if you have not defined this then uh, this this combination will not be possible okay because it requires all the straight through instances okay so let's go ahead and declare some straight through instances okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change um, the new as the straight through instance so I'm going to say toggle character and make this a straight through instance okay and then in process I'm going to go to name I'm going to make this a straight through instance similarly for price I will make this a straight through instance for quantity let's make this and for shipping information free delivery okay so now we have got a straight to instance for each of our attribute right now what it is telling is these are the most high risk test cases or the high risk test flow which could be used by the uh, customer right so this is the straight through or the happy path basically okay so let's go back and let's try again let's go here and generate instances and linear expansion okay so this time it worked um, so as you can see this is all the high risk test cases which should be tested in uh, your this particular test sheet okay and this uses all the straight through instances or the happy path got it 
obviously uh, it has taken uh, the names of those instances but uh, you can always change these names okay so there are around uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 test cases okay so which is uh, quite similar to uh, what we got in pairwise okay so this is how uh, you can create um, the different test case combinations out of your attributes and instances based on your project requirements okay so as i said you can use any of these combinations but uh, trisynthesis already recommends one combination so you should probably go with that right so go with the linear expansion and it will provide you the right amount of test cases which you require.